Hello YouTubers. Okay. I'm shooting a quick video because uh, I'm writing it's really good this for a couple of the videos that I'm doing. This is uh, a fish out there going to be spitting really soon so I'm on video four of my cichlids breeding series. I've got two sets of cichlids at different stages of breeding programs. It's going to change tomorrow I think. So I just thought I'd post a quick video just to show you the difference here. Now, I've already posted a video about uh, Malawis and uh, South Americans in the same tank together. But uh, there's a um, Metroclima Zebra, Thumbi West there. Um, I'm not going to the breeding routine and rituals and stuff. I took the female away about three days ago. She's getting ready to spit now. She's in a separate tank over there. So I'll, I'll bang the video on the end just to show you. Right, there's some Geophagus Brasiliensis in here. And they've just gone into a, a spawning ritual. Now, you always have to be on the lookout for what your fish are doing. Now, notice that the female over the last couple of days has got a really rounded belly on the side and the back. The vent or the tube, egg tubes well pronounced coming down now she's dug out uh, what they call a nest or a site at the bottom of these breeding dip at the bottom of these rocks here dug them all right out and there's a couple of broken plant pots down there that she's going to lay her eggs on when she's finished cleaning them off now what they've done they've isolated the darkest part of the tank and the fish are only allowed to come up to a certain point because they're chasing everything else away so what I'll do, I'll give you an idea of what to look for with Brasiliensis when the female's going into laying eggs. Now the female Brasiliensis, she'll lay about 300 eggs. The male will fertilise them and within four or five days they'll, they'll wriggle and they'll be hatching off. Not hatching off, they'll be wriggling and nearly free swimming. So what I'll do then when they get to the free swimming stage after about five days, I'll siphon them all out and put them in a nursery tank nice warm temperature, nice fresh newly hatched brine shrimp, crushed flake, crushed tetra, anything really just to get them feeding. Out of that 300 I might lose 20 or 30 but the, there should be a good couple of hundred fish come out of that. Now the Malawis, the um, Sana Tilapia, they hold in the mouth, she'll probably have about 30 She'll hold them in a buccal cavity, buccal, buccal, buccal cavity for about three weeks and she'll spit them. So I'll tag a video of that on the end of this and I'll see if I can shoot these Brazilianses for you just to have a look. Okay. Right, I think that's running here. Right, you can just see down the bottom there there's two Satna Percoluca stictus, but at the back there's a female there. She's nice and rounded and I think there's the male guarding the site, the spawning site. You see a very rounded belly. I'd like her to come out, but I think she's probably started laying eggs, so she's she's guarding the site. But this is the behaviour to look for uh, when they start breeding. Okay, that's that. Right, in this tank here, we've got the Sinotilapia the zebra, Thumbi West. And you can see underneath the throat, under the mouth, it's very, very dark. And she's been in there about three or four weeks now. Or nearly four weeks. So she'll be spitting very, very soon. Now, I'll just show you these two here. There's a bunch of young uns. Now they hatched off about ten days ago. And they are Rubescence peacocks about three labs in there as well somewhere. Got some yellow labs in here. I've never seen them breed so young. They're juveniles. They're barely a cup. That's the female. And she just spat three young ones out of the blue. So I'll let them, let them do it all naturally and just get on with it. Okay, this is a slightly different tank. You can see they're a little bit larger. A little bit messy because they've just fed them. Uh, they're about a month old in there. Got the first batch of Thumbi Wests, got some Rubescence Peacocks, got some SP44s, quite a mixed bag but they're all different species so 
So they're not hard to separate, they're nice thumbby west. See a bit of blue coming in that one there, could be a male. Okay, I just thought I'd show you that. Um, I'm sorry it's a bit difficult with that one in the corner, what I'll do in a couple of days. Um, I'll try and get my camera down there, which is a, a get a better angle of the eggs and everything. Okay, mixed cichlids breeding, nice and happy. Okay, see you soon guys. Keep posting. Thanks to me subs.